kind of a look back over the last seven years of filming these panhandlers. It was a learning experience. I think the first year that I filmed the gypsy panhandlers with the family, I had no idea what I was going to find over the next many. The only year that we did not have these traveling panhandlers, these professional panhandlers as I call them, was the year of COVID. There was just nobody here. However, earlier this year, this spring, I, I was amazed at how many we had. I'm actually kind of surprised that we have not had more this year. All things considered, all things I've seen online, on social media, on YouTube. But we've been lucky. I don't know if word's gotten out. Don't come to Ironmark, Michigan because I will film you. I'll catch you. I'll document you. And I'll let the world know you're doing this. Or what? But uh, pretty uneventful summer. Haven't, uh, haven't been putting any videos out. However, in the last week, all of a sudden, bam, all my panhandling videos are being seen a lot. So, anyway, if this interests you and this is something that you want to watch, here is the last seven years of me filming panhandlers. No gas, no food. Please help my... And his family's off to the side there. I really don't think this is the way you should be teaching your family how to live. There's no reason that uh, someone's not working. Because that, that is not working. What? No, what? I've been recording the whole thing. Me, what? Cops for you. I don't care if the cops come or if the cops came. It doesn't matter. No, no, don't touch my camera. Let me touch you. You know. I don't care. Look, you know, no. I don't know you, and I don't care. Me, no. no come this is not good. No. Not good. No. Yeah, I know it's no good. That's why I'm here, I'm telling you it's no good. You don't need to call the cops. I don't really care. Really? She doesn't want to look at me. You don't want to look at me though. These guys are back. I should probably go over there and talk to them now. Hey. I hope you didn't buy them too much. Yay, time to go, right? Time to leave now. You got your gas. You shouldn't store gas in there. It's very dangerous. Very dangerous. You shouldn't store gas in there. It's dangerous. Hi. How are you doing? Where are you going? The door's open. Where are you going? You got kids in there. Isn't that dangerous? Arizona BVK 5748. Look at that. Bye. See you later. Iron Mountain Walmart. Here we go again. Very next day. Tennessee tags. Very, uh, I don't know, nicer looking explorer. Has a sign saying that's out of gas, stranded, lost wallet. Gotta know your story, man. Oh, videotaping? Absolutely. What does your sign say? Oh, well, I, I'm headed back to Tennessee. You don't have to videotape me. Well, I know. 
It also has an extended mirror on there, which tells me he has uh, he has a candle. Just so everybody can see and uh, know what he's driving. Hi, how are you doing? So much for a camper, uh, or uh, all by yourself, huh? huh? So you, you got a camper here. I just want to make sure you see the camper, because I didn't heard you nothing. Can't video. You can't video nobody. You I can't. I am right now. I never said that. I just want to make sure I get your camper on video before you try to take off on me. And I was wondering where you're going to. There's no license plate back here on this. Totally unlicensed. And, uh, yeah. Okay, well, I would suggest getting away from the UP because... That's all right, call them. We are headed to Walmart. They are back. We're gonna nail their ass again. We're working it pretty tough today, huh? Passing, Who are you with? Passing through. Yeah, right. Passing through. Sure you are. Sure you are. What does your sign say? Out of gas? Out of gas, of course. So tell me how these campers keep running out of gas. Because yesterday a camper was here out of gas, the day before a camper was out of gas, and the day before that no, a camper honestly, was out of gas. Sir, Where are you guys from? I, I hit some uh, this is the Iron Mountain, Michigan Walmart. This is the third time I've live streamed a panhandler. Somebody just took a picture of my license plate. And snap. And snap. And I got a picture of their license plate. I just thought that was weird. They just creeped up behind me and took a picture of my license plate. Right. Everybody wants to be handed everything. Everybody feels yeah. entitled, right? He's out of Idaho. Right? Yeah, he's out of Idaho. We had one guy out of uh, um, Arizona. We had another one out of uh, uh, Tennessee. So he's being arrested there. It really amazes me that I really don't have to sit here at Walmart to catch panhandlers. Don't have to do it. All I gotta do is sit at home and wait for my phone to ding, ding, ding.
I knew it. I absolutely knew it. I knew this person was not walking. They weren't hitchhiking. Driving a fairly nice minivan, parked at Walmart, panhandling. the one common denominator factor in everything Walmart gypsies are back the gypsies are back right now we are in Norway Michigan and these guys are just sitting at the uh, Department of Natural Resources right in So they just uh, flipped it around, went back the other direction. Now going the other direction. Now we're going towards Iron Mountain. We can play these games all day long. Looks like somebody had enough of their shit. So I just looked, the van is parked at Walmart, backed into a spot. Nice van. Not really. Mississippi. Somebody pulled over there to give them a donation. Must be feeling bad for them. I just posted this to Facebook, so. <laughs> yes, that is my Facebook messages. Yeah. And see you later. See you later. You've been exposed. You're all over Facebook. Go back to Mississippi. Go back to Mississippi. <laughs> they definitely saw me back over there. That's just too funny.
I mean, you cannot get any better than this. Pan handling for pot. Straight up, no joke. I'm not even kidding. Watching you guys for three days now. Nice scam you got going on. Oh, absolutely is. Pan handling for pot, huh? Sometimes the best time to film is when they don't think nobody's watching. I'll have to go back and watch this afterwards and look to see if uh, he's actually playing. It appears somebody at the store is uh, talking with him right now. You can look at the license plate on this van in front of me. I'm sure that's their vehicle. I mean... It's unfortunate, I mean. Did you kick him out? Yeah, they're gonna move on. Keep, you keep moving too. Oh, to all right. Well, I was hoping to watch him, but that's all right. Go to Walmart. Walmart, awesome. There's a family here in that white van from California. They have no gas, no food, and they're just trying to get back home. Like I said, I literally, my phone just lights up when the panhandlers start every time. Well, at least get their license plate number and then uh, go from there. I believe in a free country. They have a right to panhandle. I have a right to film them. So I'm at least going to get a license plate number. Uh, so we have California. Why do you record my kids? Because it's a free country. Yes, why do you record my kids? I call the police now. Look, these are men. I'm recording my kids. What kind it's of phone is that? Something. What kind of phone is that? Yes. What kind now, of phone is that? Now let's call the police. What kind of phone is that? Now let's call the police because you're recording my kids. Okay. You don't do, no, no, no record kids. Mean you manners. literally just walked up on me. No, no, no need for you. It's not legal here for record my kids. It's minor. Why do you pedophile? You need kids? Did you just walk up on me? No, you want kids? You want kids? Well, here we are again. Friday, Iron Mountain, Michigan. Walmart is right to my left. And to my right, if you can see them, there is a panhandler. But like I said, as much of a right it is for them to hold a sign, I have the right to film. I just want to document these people. I want to document to show uh, the situation that goes on at Walmart all across the country and to share with anybody that uh, might see these people in the future. How you doing? Bye. Yeah, thank you. Oh, that, that's real nice. Beautiful. Yeah. normal. normal. I'm just recording a beautiful day. normal. good, good, good. You're fucking crazy, lady. You are. You, you're telling me I'm crazy. You're crazy. Got a double header outside of Tractor Supply, each holding a gas can. You see my reply, don't you? Going around the uh, shopping mall here, I want to sneak in sort of behind them before they have a chance to realize what I'm doing. Oh my God, Lisa. Hi. Where is she though? She's from my country, sir. She's from, She's from your country, but where is she? Where's, where's the girl at? In Romania. In Romania? Who, why would people want to help this girl in Romania? She's my niece. I'm trying to help us a little bit, so I am. Well, I literally just filmed a train video. Seconds later, my phone dinged. What do we got? Looks like a new batch of beggars. 
nice van with a something on top yeah, and grabbing an umbrella got their kids out there shame on them for using their kids like that Minnesota tags on this one Sienna Minnesota tags look at all the stuff back there that's a pretty nice van what's up I don't need anything from me I was just getting your license plate number what so I can document you see what you guys are doing Land of Lincoln on the back of their license plate, Illinois tag. You probably won't even think I'm filming. Hey, man. I'll come to you rather than just stopping in the roadway, you know. So I'll come up to you rather than just stopping in the roadway. I don't mind to you, sir. How you doing today? Not too bad. How are you doing? God, God bless you. What does your sign say? God Anything bless. the Lord will do for me right now, yeah, brother. Here, I got four bucks I can hand you now. And you sure ain't putting you in a bind? Nope. All right, I'm going to tell you right now. I, I'm going to give you four bucks back, okay? That's what the Lord's telling me to do. No, it's up to you whether you do or not. I will. The first one, what you're doing to me now. Well, that's I'm nice water cash. Help. You know what do you want from me? Nothing. Then leave me alone, sir. Okay. You just walked up to me. You're damn right I did. Now leave me alone. Okay. Do I need to tell you again? It's a free country. I'll take a step back. You better take 10, sir. I better take 10? Oh, yeah, I'm telling you. Okay. Bye. Colorado. In Colorado? And Audi gas? Come on. Really? No gas, no food. What is this? Huh? What's that? Camera? Yeah. It's a little cell phone. Yeah. Huh? No very good thing. No very good thing? I don't understand what that means. What does that mean? That's crazy the information that you might be able to get off of that, but look at Reuben and Betty. I didn't know it was Reuben and Betty. You encourage little kids to never have to look for work or think about work because their life is just a scam handed to them on a silver platter. I don't see anybody else in the van, so where's the rest of the family? The van right there, they just parked it. If you are on Facebook, I want you to look up Street Scammer Watch. Three words, Street Scammer Watch. There is a Facebook page and a Facebook group the people behind that group and that page have been investigating this specific type of scammer where they live in their community for years more intense than I have and it just so happens that he is from a Romania descent and he speaks a lot of their languages to know what they're saying in the videos so if you have a chance and you're on Facebook, please go check them out. They do a far more extensive search and uh, documentation than I do about this type of scamming. So, Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that last seven years of panhandling videos, traveling panhandler. And again, I want to emphasize, I do not, I do not film local panhandlers 
I don't film those that don't drive. I only film those that travel here in cars to Panhandle. That's just the way it is. If this is a video that you liked, hit that thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button because you'll probably see more in the years to come. Hit the share button and uh, make a comment below because I enjoy your comments. Have a great day, everybody.